just started planning a show. I really wanted to, I just wanted people to come to the house show. sweat in it is like oh, such a thrilling part of like just being in this room with people who are experiencing the exact same like sensory experience as you well, not exact same sensory experience but like they are perceiving this like weird incredible thing that you normally never experience like mm -hmm. at one time first experience actually was that was it just com mm -hmm. coming to a show and it was extremely fun because like I got to see all my friends from radio all my friends from I guess Dallas DIY <laughs> yeah and you can see them all in one place in such a cool environment with, with cool people doing cool yeah. things <laughs> <laughs> we were like the first venue for a lot of local acts to like have their first show and so it was like easy for people to like start wanting to create more maybe because they knew that they could have people that you could directly reach out to and then like have a show if you wanted to and you could like make it happen. I had always wanted to play like a, a show because I just played guitar in my bedroom for years and would make like loops and sound collages and I was like I want to do this in front of people and no one would book me. So it's like I bet I could get like 20 of our friends to come out and watch like a show. I thought like 20 people might show up maybe including the artists, and 120 people showed up. So I was like, I think this is truly really safe space. Like, if we want to, like, we control it, like, us. And so uh, it was just like taking our ideas that had already been there, already had been thriving in, like, DFW, and just, like, bringing them out to this weird suburb uh, where other people might not have had this kind of, like, exposure as I did way back in Dallas like five years ago. I think that we all kind of knew it was going to be something eventually. 